Being at home for a week after a year being in the UK felt refreshing. Despite local COVID restrictions not allowing us to get out of our province, there were still plenty of places to go to, so I took this time at home as an opportunity to rediscover my local area. I went on some hikes and walks of the first few days to mountains within the region. I also wanted to do some climbing and because I haven't done much outdoor climbing near my hometown, I met up with my friend Aritz, who's been climbing in some of the local crags for the past few years. He took me to Atauri, which is a beautiful limestone sport crack 30 minutes drive from mine. Some of you know, I don't really prioritize lead climbing over bouldering, but Aritz told me this crack really deserved me getting out of my comfort zone. There is a fair range of grades in Atauri, going from 5 to some 8 and the routes are typically 20 to 30 meters long. The first line I tried was to 6B which climbed really straight forward until the middle, where it has a bit of a crack where you have to get your feet a bit high. Not too complicated but hard enough to compromise my confidence a bit as this was fairly high up on the wall which made me, as usual, overgrip every single hold making the climb way harder than it was meant to be. After a bit of a battle I still managed to pass that bit and onside the line. As this gave me a confident boost, I decided I wanted to try something a bit harder, so I went to have a go on the 7A+, which has a bouldery and overhanging first section and then a rather slabby and technical second half. It didn't take me long to realise how inexperienced I am when it comes to ropes, as I wasn't even able to climb through the first steep section which I thought suited my style. I only managed to get through it by resting on the rope in every single clip. The second half didn't get any easier and despite being able to climb through 5 or 6 more clips, I kept on resting on the rope which totally grounded me, making me understand that the line was beyond my ability. Then it started raining and we had to call it a day. I went home feeling I hadn't done my homework and thinking I should put the hours in order to not feel out of my depth when I'm deep climbing. Anyway, on the next day I went to Valzola and had a really good session being able to tick off the 7B I wanted to climb in only a few attempts, which kinda made me forget the bad taste of the previous day. Still, I had some unfinished business niggling away at me. And that was this. This bridge has some climbing holes glued on for people to climb during summer. Two years ago I had the brilliant idea to come and try it out during winter, just to spice things up. Unfortunately for me, it didn't go well. As this year I feel stronger and fitter than then, I wanted to give it a go again. The climb itself, using all the holds, isn't harder than V3 or perhaps V4. But knowing that I only get one chance and the fact that I've already fallen once from it into the cold water makes it feel quite nerve-wracking. Anyway, I kept telling myself there was no way I was going to fall this time. It's a bloody jug traverse so I wasn't going to drop it. This is how it went. The beginning of it isn't very welcoming as some of the holes you have to traverse through to get to the start are broken and some others are a bit loose which doesn't make one feel very reassured. I think these holes are mainly used to get out of the water during summer. I ignored slash forgot the fact that I had to traverse through these holes and even use some of the wall features to get through to the start, which proved to be trickier than I remembered. It took me a bit of going back and forth to figure out how to get to the start, which gave me a nice and good old pump. And there was a point just around here where I smeared in that bit of broken wall and slightly pumped down, which made me feel like I was falling into the water already. Okay, I had pretty much made it to the point of no return. As soon as I get the hill up, I have to carry on climbing and either manage to top it out or go for a dunk again. There aren't any tricks to this climb. You just get jugs and you try to keep your hill up. Pretty basic. Despite trying my best to climb well and focus, 
I was feeling quite nervous. I really didn't want to fall and I was a bit cold so I wasn't really sure I was going to make it. I think I fell somewhere around here last time. Oops, that didn't help. Okay, at this point I'm feeling pretty pumped and I really don't know how I'm going to actually top out. I'm taking a bit of a risk in here cutting loose again. Now I'm really hoping that the feet don't slip and that I can keep myself together. That's all for this video folks, if you got sweaty hands like I did while recording this voiceover please like the video, share it, drop me a comment and subscribe.